Final part of this demo, I'm going to show you, show you how to add a sound effect. Uh, and we're also going to learn how to add a new framework to our project. Because in order to play an audio file, you have to add a special framework. So in the last project, we had a, a view that, well, an app that flips between two views. Uh, we're going to add a button to the second view, and when you click on it, it'll play a sound effect. So to starters, let's add a new framework. We're going to be using the audio video, so we need to add a new framework. If you right-click on frameworks and do add existing frameworks, you'll get a list of possible frameworks, and we want the AV Foundations framework, which stands for Audio Video Foundation. You can also play video files using this framework. So that gets added to our frameworks. Now, to, uh, to use it in code, we need to uh, import the framework into our class file. You want to import it in the second view controller M. So in second view controller M, uh, you do import. And instead of quotation marks, you want to use carrots. And it's uh, av foundation slash foundations.h and close it with a carrot. Okay, now that that's, that's been imported, now if you go to dot h, we want to make a new IV action for our sound button. And we'll call it just uh, IV action. We'll just say play sound. Okay, and copy that function, and we need to paste it in the M file. Go to my second view controller, M, and I'll paste it down underneath our back function. Okay, now we need to, uh, now that we have a function in place, like I have some sound effects here, uh, I'll put them on the website. There, it's just a guitar uh, string plucking, so we can hear that. So I'll get my one sound effect, which is guitar underscore D, and you just drag it into the resource folder like it's an image, and just copy it in there. Now it's part of my project. Now I'll write the code to, uh, to set it up. The first thing we need to do is make an NS string, and this is going to be a path to that file. And this takes a NS bundle, and we want to write main bundle. It's pointing to our main project uh, and path resource. The uh, the name of the resource is we need to at sign quotation marks, and mine is called guitar uh, underscore D. And then the second part is they want to ask they ask you the the type of file. So in our case, it's a uh, it's a WAV file. Now, the audio player will let you do uh, MP3s, WAVs, and uh, .af files. Okay, so now we've made a path. Now we need to make an audio player. And it's AV audio player. Now, unless you've imported that into the project, you won't see you won't see the audio player in there. And we need to give it a name, so I'll call mine audio player. And we have to initiate it. Audio player uh, allocate. And then init with contents of a URL. And this init with contents of URL takes a URL file. So there's a new type called NS URL files with path. And this takes that path file that we made. So you can see this. It's going to take our path. Uh, and then error is. Oops, Error is simply null. Square bracket. Just move it down here so you can see everything. Okay, so now we've, uh, we've done two things. We created our path, the audio player, and we linked it up with 
with the path. Um, so it's pointing to this file. The last thing we have to do is uh, tell it to play. Uh, so we do audio, audio player, and uh, let's just play. All right, now just do command B to test to make sure you have no errors. I don't have any errors. I need to add the button to my interface file. Uh, and that would be the second view controller interface file. Open that up. And I just want to add one rounded rectangle button. And I'm going to say play sound. And now I need to right click on my files owner and I should have the play sound function, which I do. Uh, and we drag it down to here. And I'm just gonna do touch, touch up inside. Okay, so that's linked up. Save and quit interface builder and build and run. And we should hear a sound effect. We switched views. Here's my view, I got the go back button. Here's the play sound. There it is. And that's how to add a, a simple sound effect to your, uh, your project.